What's up guys, Coach Taylor Statham from I Love Basketball TV, and today we are gonna be going over three deadly but simple post moves that every player needs in their bag. Let's get it. Now the post in today's era is completely underutilized. If you watch great NBA players, the best scorers in college, they all take full advantage of mismatches in the post, okay? Whether they're getting switches out of flex screens, um, you know, pick and roll situations, they get to a seal. Once they find that mismatch and they have a height advantage, a speed advantage, whatever it might be, they're making sure they're sealing their man first and foremost. So every single time we're trying to get this guy as low as possible, okay? Before we get to any move, okay? We wanna, if we can catch right here in the middle of the key and go over our shoulder, nothing's gonna get easier than that, okay? But for our first move, I'm gonna have Andrew demonstrate these three moves. For our first move, we're gonna get to one of Hakeem Olajuwon's favorite move, okay? We kinda get to this front pivot, so on the catch, we're gonna hop and we're gonna front pivot. So with whatever foot is closest to the middle, boom, I'm turning, I'm driving that way, I wanna get to another hop, okay, when I come out of the spin. So I get to a hop, I'm going shoulder fake, shoulder fake, I'm pivoting to the middle, getting to this head fake, ripping the ball either over, depending on where their hands are, or I'm ripping it low, getting it to my outside hand where it's protected, and I'm finishing. All right, here we go. Go, yep, go again, go again, same thing, same thing. Be really low on this front pivot. Boom, turn quick. Huh. Nice, nice, Drew. One more, one more, one more. Boom. Good, 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 good. Now for our second deadly post move. Okay, you see uh, one of my favorite players ever, Kobe Bryant gets to this religiously. Okay, he'll get smaller guys, guys who are trying to outwork him, doing all this, all this crazy work to just front him and, and, and kind of shade the ball, which really good defenders do. Okay, obviously he had the best defenders guarding him every night. So what he would do is if this player was, was trying to full front and shade him, he would kind of push him up the lane a little bit which created more space on the baseline for him, okay? So imagine you're a little higher than usual. We're not on the block, we're not on the first hash, we're a little higher, okay? So now as that ball comes, we're showing them where we want it. We want a baseline. I'm holding the defender off right here, a little closer to the free throw line, and as the ball comes, okay, it's gonna be outside my hand, I'm stepping towards the baseline, I'm stepping away, right? Most players, if they're fronting you like this, they're gonna to try to get around and take away the basket. So I wanna step away from them to create that space. So I'm gonna step one, two, and then fade out of this, okay? I wanna make sure that when I'm stepping, I'm getting a solid foundation. That's the most important thing, okay? And I'm really jumping through these steps. I'm not just going one, two, where somebody who's right here can still contest it, especially as a right-handed shooter, you know, the ball is, is, is on the side closest to them. So I wanna make sure that I'm really jumping off one, two, and that I'm fading back as I'm following through and creating all this space. So even if they were to recover, with that fade away, if I'm able to get arc on it, it's gonna be impossible to stop. Okay, here we go. Boom, step off, one, two, fade. Good, let's go. Right back to it, right back to it. Push them up the lane more, push them up the lane, push them up the lane, there we go, step away. Good, good. And obviously Chris knows exactly what he's doing. He's right there, he's, he's still not able to stop it. Here we go, here we go. Good, so that right there was 2A, okay? For 2B, our counter move out of it, I, we wanna get to this fake and go the opposite way, okay? Now, imagine this guy is here, he's fronting us, okay? So as this pass comes, we can feel him slide behind, okay? So as I'm catching, I'm already looking out of the corner of my eye to see where the defense is, okay? So now I can feel, now I can adjust and know if he's getting under the basket, this is just a shot, right? Now, if he's crowding me, I can get to a fade. If he's too close, I can get to an up and under and utilize my dribbles, okay? But for this counter, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be here, we're gonna step toward it. I'm gonna feel, you're gonna see Chris slide behind Andrew. Andrew's gonna give him a hard shoulder fake and then he's gonna pivot right here to the middle where he has control. And now he can fade. Now if he doesn't like it, he can drive and he's in a good position to score, okay? What we don't want, we don't want to pivot going up the lane. And now we're in a bad position where our back is still to the basket and now he can shade the ball and I have to back up and throw it out. 
Okay, we wanna always put ourselves in the best position possible. So when I get here and I get to the shoulder fake, even if he's still in me, look where I'm at. I'm facing the rim, so if I dribble, boom, now I can spin, now I can get to other fakes, right? I can get here, I can rip over. I'm leaving myself many options, okay? So here we go. Good, good, there we go. Nice, Drew, good, here we go, boom. Good shoulder fake, quick spin, right up in the air. Good job. Now for this third move, this final move, we're gonna get to the Carmelo spin, okay? Throughout his whole career, his rookie year, all the way until this year, he's been great at catching in the mid post. Boom, facing up immediately. So as soon as he catches, he's gonna reverse pivot. So I'm on the, I'm on the left side of the floor, okay? So with my inside foot, my left foot, I'm gonna sweep like I'm going to the baseline and it's gonna be a, a hard sweep as fast as I can, right? Like I'm trying to run through and get to a layup, but I'm gonna pound it and I'm gonna spin and let my momentum take me to the middle. Or if I have a really good defender, I'm gonna use the rim to protect myself and I'm gonna finish on this other side because as you can see, if this is a really athletic defender, he's not gonna be able to jump and put his hand through the net without it being called goaltending, okay? So always, always use that rim to protect yourself against athletes. Okay, here we go. Good, good Drew. Uh, so recover, Chris, recover. Go get to the other side, nice. Ready, Tell. Good. Hey, so those are three deadly moves in the post that every player can score and eat off of. Okay, if I were you guys, I would work on this religiously and I would make sure that I'm going to open gyms and playing people or playing one-on-one -on -one situations out of the post, okay? You see great players like Kyrie, Chris Paul, this is what really separates guards especially, okay? If, you, if you're a bigger guard, a coach is gonna see that and he's gonna want that mismatch. Now you can get to UCLA actions where you throw it to the wing and you come off this, this screen just straight to the post, right? You can set screens for, for the post coming across and then post up because Let's say I'm a point guard, boom, if I set it for my big and they switch, now that's a point guard on them. If they don't switch, boom, now I'm just burying this little guard and I'm going to work, okay? So never limit yourself. Just because you're a guard doesn't mean you're only a ball handler or a passer. Just because you're a two doesn't mean you're just a shooter. If you want to be a really great player, an unstoppable player, you want to play at your highest maximum potential, you got to have a well-rounded game and you got to perfect all these basic moves. A lot of these moves seem very basic, but to the eye of a high level coach, NBA, Euro League, NCAA, they can spot very quickly whether your moves are sharp and it's gonna work at their level against the most athletic, the longest, the tallest, quickest guys in the world, or if it's just something that works at your level right now, whether it's high school, middle school, okay? So never stop that pursuit of excellence, okay? If you guys like this video, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to I Love Basketball TV, and let me know in the comments what you guys wanna see next. Till then, it's a wrap.